Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day of Truck Talk Tuesday. Right now, it's about 60 degrees. The leaves are turning fast. Some of them are starting to drop. And it's going to be a good day of all. It's going to be 70 degrees. So uh, let's get started for the day. Good morning on this Tuesday. And before they could get started, it wasn't my fault. Well, it sort of was his fault because he kept saying all week long, I need to get that battery for that Skag Cat. I need to have a battery because it's just not starting like it should. And I was smelling it for three weeks. <laughs> I was and smelling so that I go to get on my mower and it wouldn't start. So I had to pull the battery out and walk all the way to the front of the building to get a new battery. Yeah, because we were lucky enough to have a lawnmower dealership right next to the lawn we were mowing. <laughs> yes, so it's a good morning. So, you know, that stuff out like that happens. It was, uh, I got busy this weekend and I forgot to go get a battery. So, doing lawn care is not all, not all good some days. <laughs> Today it was good. You get a lot of them uh, breakdowns. But hopefully that'll be the end of it for today. Yeah, actually that's going to be the end of it for quite a while. But um, the best thing about all of uh, this whole week is pretty much everything's within 10 minutes of our house. The whole week. And it's nice out. It We're not nice wearing out. mittens today. And we are down to mowing three days a week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And actually, if we really wanted to, we could, only, we could have everything done on Wednesday if we wanted to. But... but there's certain customers that don't want us to mow. They want us to mow on their regular day, so yes. we can't move it. We can't. We can't move their yard to an earlier day. And that would be our grandmas. Yeah. We cannot mess up their, uh, you know, 90 some years old. They're used. To, we can move them one day, but not two days. Yeah, because we already had her on Friday, and she loved it on Friday because all the church people would go by her house and they always like to look at her lawn mm -hmm. well then we moved it to thursday and that was okay for her she was okay with that but if you move it to wednesday it's not gonna be good no <laughs> so so uh what do we got today 16 lawns something like uh, that i don't know somewhere around in there so yeah we, because we moved some of wednesdays to tuesdays right because we had to get some off of wednesday but um we're probably going to be skipping a few we've already skipped uh two yards and we haven't even left our area so just because they don't need to be mowed it's that time of the year i know we mentioned it before our seasons are changing and a lot of these lawns uh we have one or two more cuts and that's it for the season they're done so uh as we're that's another nice thing about us consolidating our area and how far we have to drive because if we have to skip over a yard we're only it's no big deal we didn't drive a half hour one direction so yeah anyhow. you want to keep it what less than 10 15 minutes to each yard because you'll from make your more house money you'll make more money that way if you guys start driving half an hour here and a half an hour there you've lost a lot of time yes and in that half hour you can get one more yard in in that half yeah. hour normally in our area that's where we're that's the yards that we're looking at is the half hour yards so anyhow uh let's get out and start mowing so it's still a beautiful day uh, the thing says 57 but it's warmer than that it's in the 60 something but uh cutting along the shoreline nice calm day bugs are basically non-existent right now i love cutting grass this time of the year and I believe this is the first day of fall. And it's 72 out and there's no wind at all. So it's just like really nice. It's actually dusty out. I was like really surprised how dusty <laughs> the lawns are. Well, we haven't really had any rain in about a week. So everything's dried up pretty good, you know, because I got cold nights, so it dries everything up really fast. But. So another thing that's kind of nice about, you know, consolidating your route, you know, making it closer to where you live or whatever, um, some of the other lawn people that you normally don't see, all of a sudden you're seeing them around. Yep. It's just kind of nice and you can stop and say hello and see how they're doing and catch up with what's going on in their world. And Yep. Yeah, it's really nice. And, uh, I am and you have time to talk because you're not driving a half an hour right. to your next lawn. And which we are averaging 40 lawns a week, roughly. You know, because that's, that's give or just, take. 
that's 40 to 48 lawns a week is about what we're doing. Right, and we would like to be, or I would personally like to be about 30 lawns a week. And uh, since we got most of everything all paid off, we don't have any a whole lot of payments, um, we can do that. And that's a, you know, it's so, just an advantage that we, uh, we didn't start off doing it that, the right way, but uh, we ended up doing it the right way. So we learned along the way. Because no one uh, explained things uh, to us and how we should do things. We just kind of learned uh, trial and error. And we made quite a few errors, but now we're uh, on the right track of everything. Yeah, because you get to the point where I could use this piece of equipment or I could use that. And then you start buying all these equipment. In the back of your mind, you're thinking, but if I would have took that money and paid on my debt, I could have done this quicker. I could have had less the debt, funds. Yeah, the I, debt quicker. But... Yeah. With that being said, we have the exact equipment that we need, so that helps tremendously. Okay, last time for that ditch. Uh, we will not be doing that ditch the rest of the season. Which is kind of nice because that means the weed whack is just about done. Yeah, we, uh, we used to do the ditch on the other side there, the other neighbor, and she passed away and then the kids sold the house and uh, the lady that lives there does not mow the ditch. I know. So now we have to... Uh, Oh, well, that's all done with that. We don't have and to worry about that. Both those ladies that lived there, there was their husbands were really adamant about getting them ditches mowed. Yep. They always had to have those ditches mowed. So the spouses made sure that the ditch was always mowed, even though they didn't have their husbands there. Yep. So we took over that, which uh, I hate them ditches. Absolutely hate them ditches. But that pays well so, and we're not there that long but still it's it's a lot of trimming it's more dangerous than anything doing them ditches because the people fly down that speed limit is 35 through there but they're going 60. plus it's always wet and it's yeah. just easy for you to fall down there easy for you to fall down there yeah because I, I have to be really careful when i'm doing ditches yeah, I think I'm going to have to get her some climbing spikes or something like that. So I don't just fall don't in want to lose my balance. <laughs> so anyhow, we have a handful more yards to do. 74 degrees. Beautiful day for working. Okay, we just got done with another yard that's all ditches everywhere and there's slopes. At it, so. You'll see that clip at the end of the video here. And uh, we have not mowed that yard in three weeks. 
and we probably will not touch that yard the rest of the year unless the leaves fall early enough to do a cleanup on. Oh yeah, every week it's getting less and less lawn, so I'm thinking within two weeks we'll be down to two days a week. Yeah, I just think it's kind of neat that uh, Christina from Jay's Crazy Cuts just said it was 73 degrees where they're at, and it's a 76 here where we're at. Yes. And they're a whole bunch farther south than us. Yeah. Well, we got two more yards uh, done for season. We're not going back. One commercial and one we just left, which uh, two weeks time, that was hardly even growing there either. I just am like, I don't know if it's because we haven't had any rain or what, but the leaves are just dropping like crazy. Oh, we had two days of frost last week and no rain, so that's probably what's going on. Yep. So it looks like our leaf season is going to be early this yep. year. Yeah, because uh, tomorrow morning I am putting the cater blades on the 48 because all the amount of leaves that are dro dropping down. So we're going to be mulching everything up from uh, here on out. Yeah, we cleaned the lady's sticks up a couple weeks ago in her front yard because the wind took her some of her tree down. And today we went by there and it was all full of maple leaves all yep. over the ground. Yep. <laughs> like wow just yeah. in two weeks time so anyhow um yeah that's gonna be it for us for today it was an absolute wonderful day 78 degrees uh, we are having a little bit of a problem with gas right now because uh we are in the fall blend of gas in our area which is the colder mornings but when it gets to 80 degrees nothing wants to start so all the mowers are running like crap the weed whackers are barely starting i mean it's just the way it is we always go through this in the spring and the fall when we get the higher temperatures or colder temperatures. But anyhow, that's going to be it for us for today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And if you want to watch Vicki on Vicki's Outdoors, check out her channel. Who's Vicki? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Who is Vicki? Oh, I just went by another anyway, yard. Anyways, uh... Everybody have a good night, and we will see you on the next Talk Tuesday. Peace. Goodbye.